times have changed And we've often rewound the clock Since the Puritans got the shock When they landed on Plymouth Rock Hello, everybody. Well, take a look at what I'm playing again. I was so nostalgic for the Capital Wasteland, I decided to come back again. And I wasn't originally going to bother with Fallout 3 again, except one of my friends on YouTube, his name is Archie's Games, he decided to buy me the Fallout 3 Game of the Year edition, which includes all five of the DLC packs. So what I'm doing here, I'm presenting to you some random scenes that I shot yesterday from the first few hours of me playing the game again and my goal here is to determine whether it makes sense to do a walkthrough or just some random raw footage again like I've been doing with Fallout New Vegas for a while uh, because it's a um, uh, I've got all of my settings uh, cranked up to the max just like I did in Fallout New Vegas and in addition to that I added some new mods that I didn't have originally. Uh, one mod is uh, NMC's texture pack which um, makes the wasteland much more dazzling. In fact almost every surface he's uh, rendered, re-rendered in some way. Now take a look at this um, graphical feature. It's called Screen Space Ambient Occlusion. Now do you see the shadows, the soft shadows that all the objects are casting? Like even the party hats, like pretty much everything, even uh, corners of desks and um, like the chair, see the, the legs are casting a soft shadow. Um, screen space ambient occlusion um, is a feature that I didn't have the first time I played Fallout 3 all the way through. So it really adds um, some photorealism to the environment. And even outside um, it happens too and it enhances the view. Uh, now what you're seeing here is um, some dynamic weather and the weather changes in each of these clips that I show you and that particular mod is called Zifa's Dynamic Weather and he's not only changed the weather in the Capital Wasteland but he's also added um, extensions for every single DLC pack so he can have dynamic weather in all the DLC packs. And now in this scene, it looks like I'm sloshing through this area called the, um, what is it, the Anchorage Memorial, or the Anchorage War Memorial. And this is the inside, and I'm fighting Meyer Lurks, which are sort of like Lake Lurks in um, Fallout New Vegas, but they're uh, pretty deadly. <laughs> and I take care of this guy with frag mines. Uh, but take a look at the interior. I mean, the interiors in Fallout 3 are just so much better rendered. In fact, everything is just so much better rendered than Fallout New Vegas. And look at this detail. Uh, you know, Bethesda paid attention, great attention to detail. And they made sure that every square foot of the wasteland had something in it, had some kind of detail or something interesting. And that's not true with Fallout New Vegas. I mean, there's big patches of Fallout New Vegas that just look ugly and blank um, like like the developers just quit working on it or they got fired or something um, but anyway it just uh, I actually have a lot more fun playing Fallout 3 in fact um, this it's really been a lot of fun coming back to the capital wasteland again so now here's what I need from you um, I need to know from viewers whether it's worth it for me to do a walkthrough of Fallout 3. Um, I don't think it's going to be a full walkthrough. It'll probably be a partial walkthrough uh, because there's the entire Capital Wasteland to explore along with five DLC packs. So if you'd like to see me do this um, uh, with all these maxed out graphic settings, then let me know in a comment. Uh, in this video. Uh, you could also vote on a poll that I'm going to post on my channel page uh, right after I upload this video. Uh, you, so you could do it either way and let me know if you'd like it. And if I see that enough people are interested then I'll start the walkthrough tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the Capital Wasteland soon. I'll stay right here they have things like the autumn bomb So I think I'll stay where I am Civilization I'll stay right